John, you got back in the ring with a six-rounder in Liverpool a few weeks ago. How was that for you? Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, it was, it was a short notice fight. I found it on the Thursday and Friday I was out there weighing in. So it, it was a good opportunity and I, I jumped at it. How did it feel to get back in that ring? Brilliant. I mean, it was a late night, but um, it was worth it. It was good to get six runs under my belt. I mean, sometimes you can get in there and blow an opponent away, but my opponent was tough and he, he came, I think he came to survive more in the end, but I got good six rounds in and it was my first fight in six months, so it was quite beneficial. And six months on from the British title fight, how do you reflect now on the Billy Joe Saunders fight? Good, good thoughts of it. I mean, um, I didn't get hurt. I learned a lot, and I think if you lose and you learn, it's, it's not such a bad thing. I mean, I'll come back a better fighter. I didn't show too much in the, the sixth round the other day, but it's, there's good things to come from me, and I, I will be better for that, and I'll be better over the distance now. It was the first time you'd done more than eight rounds. Was that perhaps something which was a bit of a disadvantage in the end in the fight? I didn't think so at the time, but I think in my head and mentally, yeah, I think because I'd been scheduled to box ten rounds twice and. I've stopped him in the eighth, but um, yeah, I think now I've done it, it's, it's, it's going to hold me in good stead for the future. It was a, a close fight and a good fight. Did you feel at all unlucky not to get the decision? I knew what I had to do to win and I didn't do it, so um, if, you, if you don't do that, then you're not going to get the win, are you? But um, you live and learn and next time I will. And it was a very late night there at the Copper Box. Was that another thing for you to take a bit of experience from? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you've got with, with your diets. We have hourly diet things we should be eating and what we should be drinking. And I just I didn't have my stuff with me. Not that that's any excuse, but it's just mentally now I know that I've got to prepare this stuff and bring it with me to the, any venue. Just because you, you never know what time you're going to be on. So you got a British title eliminator on this prize fighter bill. We'd be looking for the rematch. Uh, definitely. I mean, I don't think that'll happen immediately with Billy Joe, but I mean, hopefully down the line it, it might happen for something bigger than a British title, but. I'm focused fully on Jez Wilson for the, the British title eliminator, then see where we go from there. Billy Joe may indeed vacate. Who do you think might be in the mix to, to fight for that title, obviously alongside yourself, if you were to win the eliminator? Uh, I don't know, there's a few. I mean, uh, Nick Blackwell looks like a front runner. I think he's in the mandatory position. So um, that's a fight I'd also like. I think that'd be a, a great fight for the fans. And got a lot of respect for Nick. He's, uh, he's a good fighter. And um, yeah, just love the fight. And another name out there at the minute is Eamon O'Kane, who you've obviously fought before. He's won the Irish title since then and, and an IBF Intercontinental. Could a rematch be on the cards there, maybe for a British title or something bigger? Yeah, I mean, that, that IBF belt he's got looks nice and I mean, um, I'd be confident in beating him again. So, um, yeah, why not? I mean, big fights get people interested and that's what I want to be involved in, it's big fights. So, Jez Wilson, how much do you know about him? Not a lot, a bit limited really. There's not much of him on YouTube, but um, I've seen his record, knew he's boxed and... He's got a good record, it speaks for himself. He's had 13 fights, 11 wins, one loss and one draw. So, I mean, he's a good fighter. He's, he's been stopped once, but when I mean, you can't read too much into that. I mean, it, the, the geezer was a bit of a banger and I think he might just got caught early on, caught a bit cold and maybe tried to have a bit of tear up with him, but then just come unstuck. Do you feel a stronger fighter and a better fighter now for having had the British title experience? 100%, yeah. I've learned, learned bundles from that and it'll hold me in good stead in the future. Mainly for like the roundage and what you got to do to win a title. So what are we going to see from you on the prize fighter bill? A lot more work um, and a good good show. Hopefully, plan on putting on a good show for the fans. John, thank you very much. Thank you.